What's up guys, Afflicted Gamer here back with another Division video and we are going to talk about the exotic pairing of the Centurion and the Liberator which will give you this unique talent called Free Republic. So these are the roles on the Liberator and there is the Free Republic. So each shot with the Liberator grants you 5% to your next headshot damage with the Centurion. Max is 200% kills with the Centurion, grants plus 10% rounds per minute to all weapons for 10 seconds. Very, very different, very unique. Uh, when I first heard this, I thought this was the stupidest thing I had ever heard. Why on earth would I finish off an enemy with my sidearm instead of my primary weapon? But, I decided to take it to my testing ground, which is the Madison Field Hospital. You know, uh, since I'm update 1.6, this is a new addition to the game, in case anybody new to the division watches this. And, uh, you know what? It's actually kind of cool. But, it is very, very situational, and you have to be very careful. You actually will probably see me get hurt in this video as I'm trying to get this special talent, this special ability to proc. So, you know, for the most part, I can't see this being my main go-to thing. The Liberator itself as a assault rifle functions very well. It is extremely fast actually if you have rate of fire added to your extended magazine. Um, Feels very similar to a lightweight M4 or a LVOAC. Um, and again, I don't know what is going on lately with the division, with recording and whatnot, but I keep getting these minor second skips, and I don't know, I don't even know what to call them. I'm not sure why it's happening. Whenever I record, I do get these mini skips. My apologies for that. Nothing is edited. I. I honestly don't know the answer to it. I really don't. But anyway, I tried to make this proc throughout this mission quite a bit. As you can see, I'm trying not to kill him straight off like I normally would with my primary to get him to low enough health that I could try to finish him off with the Centurion. Now, I should be aiming for the head, but for the most part, if you're being shot in the back, you don't really have that much time. But, you know, I do see... You get to see that little 200 underneath your grenades, you know, which shows that you have the, the option there to do the damage. Um, and right there, just by experimenting, I had to use a recovery link. That's another issue. And throughout these next few weapon reviews here at the Madison Field Hospital, I do bring up the fact that I don't really feel a difference from changing armor to health or all resilience other than I feel a lot weaker. I never get hurt in this mission and anybody that's played this mission from the beginning of the game knows just how easy it is and to get hurt in it just doesn't make any sense to me. Anyways, again, there is another one of those little skips. I have no idea why it's happening. Anyway, so the pairing of the Liberator and the Centurion, which is the main topic at hand, Free Republic is a cool idea, but I just don't see how practical it is. Now, if you're firing with your primary weapon, most likely you would swap to a secondary to finish off an enemy, whether it be a player or somebody in PvE. Right? That is the usual go-to thing that you would do, or you would reload your primary weapon. In order to make this proc and to get a boost of speed, you have to pull out your sidearm and finish him off there. So on console, that is double tapping a button and then getting your, you know, your sidearm out. I don't know if it's easier on PC with, you know, a gaming, a gaming mouse, if the buttons are just right there and it's a simple one click and it's a lot simpler. You know, but it's a, it's a bit of a challenge. I even at some point tried to just use the Centurion on its own to see how that will, you know, would go. I can't see myself doing this all the time, but 
if it's something like this where I'm just trying to get my weekly assignments done, then I'll most likely have some fun with this and, you know, see how well I can do with it, try to get those headshots, and then see how well it does. In this run, however, you know, when I do land those headshots, get the kill, I do feel another, an extra little boost to the Liberator, which is nice. And again, it says that it does apply to all weapons, so you could switch to your secondary weapon after getting your headshot kill with the Centurion and get an extra 10% RPM to that weapon. So, you know, it's, uh, it's not a bad thing, for sure. It's not a bad thing, it's just... I can't see a lot of players choosing to do this over just using their main weapon and then and or switching to their secondary versus a sidearm. I do think if you want a challenge that you should pick up this combination and give it a go. For sure in Last Stand if you can get a player to a down state and then pull out your sidearm, finish him off swap back to your primary and or secondary and then have that extra boost in speed to your weapon try to down your opponent a lot faster i think that that could potentially work i don't see it being as easy as swapping to a secondary but i still think that it could work and i think that it would be pretty fun to do that and i'm honestly going to give it a try but first you know as per usual to be smart i thought best thing to do to find out how something is going to perform at least at you know a, a baseline of experimenting to take it into a mission that is simple that you can do by yourself and use the weapons so then if you go down it's no big deal you're at no loss you're not at a disadvantage to hurting anybody your teammates you're not messing up an incursion you're not dying in the dark zone anything of that sort you know this is the perfect way to find out whether something is good or not, at least for a start. That's my opinion on it, at least. That's just my opinion, okay? So, you know, if somebody disagrees, that, that's fine as well. But, overall, I think that the pairing of the Centurion and the Liberator is, is good. I like the Free Republic idea. I, again, think that I will use it in certain situations and scenarios. Especially if you're doing something where you don't have to take it too seriously. Which I know that, that I, I will have that opportunity plenty of times in this game. I will use this for sure. However, I don't think that I will pick this as my main go-to setup. Unless they make some sort of a change, which I doubt that they will. This is how it was during the PTS, and this is how it is now in 1.6 and Last Stand, now that we have the official DLC. So, you know, that's that. Right there, I was actually trying to uh, get these veterans down with just the Centurion. Didn't work out too well, and the Liberator with that extra rate of fire is quite quick. It's a, it's a pretty fast weapon, so, you know, it's uh, trying to get the, the control of the the recoil down a little bit better than what it was again one of those minor skips I have no clue what's happening with that but trying to get the kills with just the Centurion is uh, is something I think that you guys should give a go and see how well it does and for those of you out there that are already using this pairing or if this is something that you think is a good viable option over using any other assault rifle you know because this is set up for assault rifle users as that is the primary weapon it could be your secondary if you're a sniper i guess but either way one way or another a sniper a assault rifle has to be in play here because you have to use the liberator so if that is the case for yourself please let me know what you think of this do you think that it just makes no sense which was my opinion off the get-go until I actually got the chance to use it or do you think that this is a cool and good idea a good setup you know something that is worth trying worth using and even more so past that taking into something a lot more challenging legendary mission an incursion something of that scale that is what I would honestly like to know 
from you guys so if you could leave that down in the thoughts and comments below that would be fantastic so here i am i'm going to take down hutch for the gazillionth time uh just i feel like i've done this mission a hundred times and that is that so anyways guys hopefully you enjoyed this video if you did then please go ahead and drop it a like it does help me out a lot it helps the channel out a lot we're almost at 700 subscribers you guys are amazing thank you so so much for that hopefully we can get there soon uh we're only a couple people off and also don't forget that you can follow me on Twitter at AfflictedGamer, ask me any questions that you like, submit the challenges for the weekly challenges that I said I would do. If you send them and submit them, I will do them. Other than that, at the end of the video, you will see my stream times, so, for the week. There you go, there you have it, there is Free Republic, that's the setup, one last glance at it, and that is that. So, anyways guys, thanks for your time, enjoy the rest of your day, night, evening whatever the case is, and I will see you very soon in the next